So in the previous session, we, we got some samples and we made a very spooky sounding texture that we could use uh, in a film or an animation or, or just in its own. I, mean, um, I like producing things like that. Um, um, but there are also um, other, other musical resources that we can get access to, such as MIDI files. So um, MIDI files are, as I said before, they're, they're instructions to a synthesizer. So they're very small because they don't really contain any sounds because it depends on what synthesizer you're connected to. And normally this would be like a, a synthesizer on your desk. Um, but there are also software synthesizers on computers. So we're going to work with those a little later. So uh, I'm going to go look at some, um, let's have a look at rock. Uh, so here we can see um, tracks that um, won't sound like the original. The Look of Love, I remember that, by ABC. Um, and um, so I could get a couple of these. The Dap, damned if I do, Alan. Uh, um, so when again, when you're looking for these, uh, you would need to sort of just try things because um, it depends whether somebody has, encode, has, has sort of typed in the commands to make these, these musical pieces happening. There are other, so that's bit mid is quite good. Um, so you can see here, Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's try that. So here's an example. If I play this now, um, this is using a very simple synthesizer and it's not quite the same but if we had a more a synthesizer with more realistic sounds in it would say it could be uh, um, I mean I imagine the, uh, the original was probably not recorded with an orchestra but using um, actual synthesizers so we've got a couple of MIDI files and we've got our sound files from before so the tool, um, the tool we're going to look at here is BandLab, and BandLab is is what's called a DAW, a digital audio workspace uh, workstation. Um, um, so can I continue with Google here? Um, oh, just logging. No, is that, I think that was missing the Google logo. Yeah, so um, so I'm going to create a track, or rather a, 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 a musical piece, and you can have different types of um, of music files within the one song. So I might have a MIDI instrument, and a MIDI instrument, um, because piano is selected here, I can... So if I wanted to record a little, uh, let's pick a, let's pick something more interesting. Let's pick some uh, synth pads so I can. Oh, and there's lots to choose from. Uh, you can spend new age synth. Let's go let's go down a bit. Oh yes. So up here we have a metronome, and do we want that on? And I can start recording. Four counts in. sounding good to my ears. Ooh, let's make it sound a bit dark. Oh, spooky. So we now have a track here and I can uh, drag the, can I drag the, uh, the beginning in? Can I do that? Yeah. There, to line that up with the beginning of that bar and I can then stretch this out to keep playing that riff and again I can use these minus keys to sort of zoom out so um, this let's turn off the metronome now did that not record oh yeah oh that might be because I dragged the beginning and it missed the that command to start playing might need to might need to fix that let's just see um, zoom in a bit yeah, it's missing the first. Uh, 
that might work better. Yeah. So on this track, I can also add effects. And the effects are like, um, uh, let's add a delay. I can say how much feedback from that delay I want. So that makes it sound even more spooky. It sounds like it's struggling slightly. Let's maybe, yeah. Ooh. Right, so let's try. Um, A phaser, which is that sort of hippie swooshing sound. Uh, so let's rewind. Can you, can you hear the. Let's make it more intense. Wow. So we started to get that. We can add a track that might be a drum track. But we can also start to, um, where's my tracks up here? I can add a track that is voice or mic. Um, or, or you can actually use these other tracks as well. Um, and what that means is that it is a, um, um, a, um, a sound recorded file. So if I wanted to use my frog in this track, I can drag the frog into here. And I can also apply effects to this. Um, so, for example, um, add an effect and um, maybe distortion. I wonder what it would sound like dis um, distorting like an electric guitar. Let's have a um, let's let's rewind and play. Oh, I think that's going to sound good with. Um, you can see it only played that of that palace because that little bit at the top has been selected. So I'm going to add some uh, crazy echo onto that. I'm sure that'll work. Um, let's add another effect. Um, filter echo. Let's see what that's like. I want a really long delay. And I want it really high in the mix. And I want quite a lot of it. So let's see what we get now. Oh. Terrifying. <laughs> so we're starting to build up our track now. Now we could um, bring in that Pirates of the Caribbean, but I've got a feeling, let's, let's have a look, that it, um, it will um, um, bring in all the different instruments and create new tracks for it. Let's see. there. So let's pause this, rewind, um, let's maybe bring this closer and I can drag things around like this. I can also shorten things if, if I've got too much information, so I only want like maybe two of those. Um, so let's play from here. So there's the beginning of the Pirates of the Caribbean and I've got a feeling there might be other tracks further down, let's have a look. Oh no, no it's only brought in those two at that point. Um, so instead of, let's say I don't want to use the rest, I just want to use the first bit. Starting to distort slightly. I don't know quite why. Um, so I'm going to zoom right out and drag this down. So I've only got the first little section. And then zoom back in again. So I've, I've picked a, a sort of quite a, um, a sloppy part, if you see what I mean. And what can I do here? Um, I can choose the instrument that it's been played with. So I might choose something that it doesn't make sense to use. Let's say, um, what about a, maybe a, ba a brass sound and pick something crazy like a trombone. Um, let's see what that sounds like. And I wonder if I click on that, if I can also take it down in tone. I don't, I think I can. No, uh, no. Um, 
but I'm starting now to build up my track and I can keep on adding samples and adding different uh, pieces, um, adding a new, uh, let's add a track that's another instrument. Let's, um, let's pick, say, let's make that a um, bass. What type of bass? Deep house, what does that sound like? So at this point of the track, I might record. And stop. Until I get to the point where I'm happy. Um, and then um, I can actually clean up these notes as well by actually um, when, um, when we look at the MIDI editor, We can actually even move the notes around. We can quantize them, making them more on time. Or if we played the wrong note, we can move it up and down. Uh, so if I was to quantize the to, to, to eighth note, um, 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 or I can uh, humanize them, make them sound a little bit more played like. So w when we're kind of happy with all the different things that we've added to our track, I'll, I'll actually reduce this down for now. Can I do that? Because I don't need all that time. Boom. Let's say that finishes there. Um, I Again, I can now save this. Um, um, oh, I believe it is saved. I, I think I give it a name here and call it Pirates of the Weird. Um, and this might be creating a back um, a track for a film um, and then I can download it and I, I download either as separate tracks or what's called a mix down uh, so that then um, turns those sounds into a, into one file and I think it gives it to me as an mp3 and I can then go and use that um, in an animation program or I could I could upload that to um, make a video and upload it to YouTube um, so I've made a fairly horrible sound, but this tool is extremely um, powerful, available in your browser, and you can do some great sound effects and textures um, with it. There are desktop um, audio, des <laughs> um, digital, there are music, um, uh, desktop musical, I can't, I can't say it. There are desktop versions of this, um, that you can use, um, such as Reaper, uh, but Apple's come with GarageBand, um, and um, they, um, here we go, I want medium quality MP3, um, and they work very similar to this, um, so I quite often use this if I'm just making some simple texture, um, or a, a simple, or just experimenting, and then I can actually download it, um, 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 them as, as tracks as that I can actually use um, in another tool. So there, that's a really that's a really powerful thing to learn. Um, um, and um, I use a mixture of all these tools to create audio for the projects that I'm working on.